Hey everyone, it's Christine and I'm back with, I think it's 39. Is it week 39? I don't know. I'll put it up here so you guys can see. It might be 40 and if it is 40, holy cow. I think 40 is next week. So I weighed in this week and um, I lost weight, <laughs> but I only lost 0.2 pounds and uh, it was a loss. That's awesome. I love when I see a loss because there's, there was that one week where I gained weight and I was like, what? How did I gain weight? <laughs> but yeah, I lost two ounces this week, which is fine, you know. I lost eight pounds over the course of three weeks. So my body has that pattern where it's like, loss, 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 little loss, 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 loss. So I'm fine with it. Uh, it's still a loss. Now I'm 216.6 pounds, which I started at 324. Uh, I've lost 107 point eight I think so I'm only two ounces away from losing 108 uh, yeah that's a pretty cool statistics right there <laughs> I didn't know I could lose weight that fast so yeah um, it's been a great week I went to school I worked out four times this week which people that work out a lot probably are like that's it but going from like I used to you know I play I mean I don't used to but I played roller derby, but I haven't played in a few months just because of uh, being traveling so long and derbies in Vegas and I was in Florida and I was here and there and here and there. So I hadn't skated in a while. So uh, I started going to the gym regularly and that's become like my new favorite hobby is to go to the gym. And I usually go for an hour, maybe a little more, and I'll do at least a half an hour of cardio and... Um, I'll either do couch to 5k which has been going really well like I'm like I really like the feeling of running for some reason I think probably because I never could run and be uh not like dying of air uh, within like two seconds of it so being able to run and I mean I'm not running a mile yet or anything but I mean it's couch to 5k it's like training you to do that so that's been great um and if I don't do couch to 5k, I do the elliptical and I do it like between a level 10 and 11 flirt, a, le a level 13. Um, yeah. So it's not like a you know, level zero where you're like, like really fast. Like me, I'm like pushing and it's like, oh my gosh, this sucks, but it feels good because I'm working out. So yeah, I've made it a habit to go to the gym, uh, pretty regularly. So that's really cool because that never was even like an option before I was when people used to tell me they like going to the gym I was like you're lying like no one likes going to the gym you're a liar why are you lying to me you're just lying to me because I'm fat and you want me to lose weight no you really it's true you really do become like addicted to working out like you become like you know your body literally craves uh, exercise and whether if you're doing it at the gym or if you're going out to the park with your kids or if you're playing on a team sport anything like that your body just craves that physical activity so for me right now I've been you know I haven't been in Vegas so I've obviously been in the gym but yeah um, remember last week on Sunday when I had mentioned that I had news well I was gonna wait until later this week to explain what that news was but since this video isn't too crazy long, uh, I figure I'll just tell you guys now. So, um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard that, you know, um, when you lose a significant, a significant amount of weight, you know, um, especially if you've been big for a very long time, you do, um, you do get the gift of extra skin. And uh, it's not cute, you know, it's not. And I was pro I was hoping I would be one of the lucky ones that wouldn't have that extra skin since I'm pretty young. You know, I'm only 24. So um, I thought I'd be okay. But after losing this much weight and still seeing a lot of, like, extra skin, um, it started to make me nervous thinking, mm, well, maybe it won't go away. Because I've never had kids either, so it's not like, you know, I have, you know... It's not like I have another reason for having extra skin. It's basically, it's completely on the weight that I had. I was over 200 pounds since I can remember. So like, I've been big 
probably my entire life besides when I was like a very small child. So this skin that I have, you know, my body has been stretched for so long and I've dropped, what is it? I've been on Weight Watchers for almost like uh, 10 months now. And my, uh, I mean, I have lost a lot of weight in that amount of time, no, not doing anything crazy, just doing Weight Watchers and working out. My body just was dropping the weight a lot quicker than I was expecting it to. So, especially in my midsection, that's where I carried a lot of my weight at, was in my midsection. And I can't buy clothes in a size that I'd want to because of the extra skin. Like, I put on a pair of jeans and it fits under my stomach. Like, I can lift my stomach up, button it, and zip it, and it fits. But who wants, like, like I said in another video, like, really old video, I will sooner die, walk out of the house with a muffin top. Um, I'd rather just wear pants that go up higher, but who wants to do that? Like who wants to wear, I'm only 24. I don't want to wear jeans that cover my belly button because I'm like, I'm not trying to be a hooker or anything. You know, I just want to be able to wear jeans that I don't have to button above my belly button because I have to conceal extra skin. And so I did go see a plastic surgeon just to see if I was a, uh, like a candidate for skin removal and, uh, just because if they were to tell me, no, you can work this off, your skin will go back to its normal elasticity, you're fine. So, you know, I wasn't like, you know, like this was not my answer. I was not going to just be like, yeah, give me, give me, um, give me a tummy tuck and be done with it and I won't have to worry about my weight anymore. So I went and saw three plastic surgeons actually just to see their opinion. And after talking with all three of them, they did tell me that my skin literally is it's so stretched out that I will even if I lose get to my goal weight I'm still gonna have that extra skin just like everyone else that has lost a lot of weight will have that extra skin unless you're so super lucky um, so I have decided I'm going to do it I'm gonna have a tummy tuck and I'm very fortunate enough that I'm able to afford it as well as I am getting a little help from my mom because she's seen how much work I put into it. She told me that if um, she, if, if I could lose 100 pounds, that she would help me pay for the surgery if I needed it. So she is going to be um, helping me pay for it too. It's not crazy expensive. I'm actually going to an amazing doctor in Miami, Florida, and he's going, um, I got an extremely great uh, price for it, and um, you know, I'm, I completely trust in him. I'm going to be getting the surgery done in December, so very soon. Um, and I'm just keep working out. I'm eating healthy. You know, I want to get to my smallest before I get any surgery done. But he said that the surgery will just, um, even if I don't get to my goal weight, which I probably won't get to my goal weight before the surgery, um, that even though after the removal of the skin, I'll still be able to work out afterwards and lose even more weight and tighten even more. So... Uh, you don't ha like I don't have to be at my goal weight to get the tummy tuck done because they're just removing skin. I will have to keep working out so that I do get a more um, you know, I get the body that I've always wanted. And this is not an easy way out. You know you have to exercise. You have to eat well. This is just what I have to do because I want to be able to wear clothes like a normal person. Like I can fit clothes now, but I can't fit the clothes that I want to fit because of the skin. So. I am not nervous yet because it's still October. I still have a couple more months to worry, <laughs> to get nervous. So I'm not scared yet. I'm really excited though. And I'm, I'm really excited. I got to share this guy's, uh, this with you. I probably will do a body shot like with a sports bra on just so I can show you guys what, why I'm getting the surgery done. But I won't do that for a little bit longer because I want to get a little smaller <laughs> before I like completely expose myself on the internet. But um, yeah, I'll show you guys before, you know, before I actually have the surgery done so you can see the comparison because I've, I've always wanted a flat stomach and after doing so much hard work, I, I really think I deserve one. So I'm sorry this video is like super duper long, but I will talk to you guys later and have a nice weekend.